Hello children, in previous videos I have discussed about simple tenses and continuous tenses. Now today in this video we will study about perfect tense that is 18th lesson of your textbook. Now just observe these three sentences. I have done my homework. I had done my homework long before and I shall have done my homework by evening. These three sentences are in perfect tense. The first sentence I have done my homework is in present perfect tense. Second one I had done my homework long before is in past perfect tense and I shall have done my homework by evening is in future perfect tense. Now we will start studying about these three tenses. First we will study about present perfect tense. Present perfect tense is used in order to show an action that has been just completed or you can say this tense shows an action that was going on in the past but has been completed only recently just in the present period of time. For example, if I will say I have done my homework. What does it mean? It means that the action that the completion of the homework was going on in the past but has been completed recently in the present period of time. The word have done in this sentence tells us that the state of doing work is completed at the time of speaking and this form of the tense is called present perfect tense and this tense is formed by using third form of the verb after auxiliary verb has or have. So the structure of present perfect tense is subject plus has or have and then third form of the verb. Has is used with third person singular number and have is used with I first person, second person, you and plural number first person, second person and third person. So with I, you, we and they we have to use have and he or she has. Now let us understand affirmative, interrogative, negative and interrogative negative form of present perfect tense. So how are you going to form affirmative sentence that using structure subject plus has or have and third form of the verb object is optional. Now if first person singular number then we will use for this example I have done my homework with I we have to use have and done is third form of the verb. Second person singular number you have done your homework with you we have to use have but with third person singular number he has done her sorry he has done his homework she has done her homework. Now with plural number first person we have done our homework. You have done your homework. They have done their homework. So this is the way of forming affirmative sentence in present perfect tense. Now if we are told to form interrogative Sentences in present perfect tense, we shift has or have 
to the beginning of the sentence. So, this have or has is going to be shifted at the beginning. So, you can see over here, have I done my homework with the same example. Have you done your homework? Has he done his homework? Has she done her homework? Then put the question mark. As I told earlier also, don't forget to put question mark when we are forming interrogative sentences. In plural number, have we done our homework? Have you done your homework? Have they done their homework? So, this is the way how interrogative sentences are formed in present perfect tense. To make negative form of the sentences in present perfect tense, we insert not after the helping verb has or have. So, what are we going to do over here to form negative sentences? I have not done my homework here. Yeah? You can see not is placed after auxiliary verb have and here after has. You have not done your homework. He or she has not done his or her homework. We have not done our homework. You have not done your homework. They have not done their homework. So, we are inserting not after has or have. Now, to make interrogative negative form of the sentence in present perfect tense, we shift has or have of the negative form to the beginning of the sentence. So, we are shifting this has or have at the beginning of the sentence. So, you will get have I not done my homework? Have you not done your homework? Has he not done his homework? Has she not done her homework? And in plural number, have we not done our homework? Have you not done your homework? And have they not done their homework? And put question mark at the end. So, to form interrogative negative sentence in present perfect tense, we shift has or have of the negative form to the beginning of the sentence. Next is past perfect tense. Past perfect tense is used to talk about actions that were completed before some point in the past or you can say this tense talks about the past in the past. Here you can see this example. I had done my homework long before. Here the verb had done tells us that the state of doing the work was completed or you can say finished in the distant, spa, distant past that is before the simple past tense and the structure of this tense is subject plus had and third form of the verb that is past participle. In a simple way, if I will give you one example, I can say I had won the match. Here this sentence is in past perfect tense. Structure of Past perfect tense is subject plus had and third form of the verb. Now, let us understand affirmative, interrogative, negative and interrogative negative form of past perfect tense. First, affirmative form of past perfect tense. Take the same example that is given. I had done my homework long before. Here, for the first person singular number, I had done my homework long before. Here, if you are going to see in present perfect tense, we have to choose has or have according to the singular and plural and 
first person second person and third person but here we are going to use only had so i had done my homework long before you had done your homework long before he had done his homework long before she had done her homework long before likewise here also we are going to use we had done our homework long before you had done your homework long before they had done their homework long before next interrogative form to make interrogative form of the sentence in past perfect tense we shift had to the beginning of the sentence that this had is going to be shifted at the beginning of the sentence so had i done my homework long before had you done your homework long before had he or she done his or her homework long before likewise in plural number also we are going to use had at the beginning of the sentence now to make negative form of the sentences in past perfect tense we insert not after the helping verb had you can see over here i had not done my homework long before you had not done your homework long before she had not done her homework long before he had not done his homework long before here also same way we had not done our homework long before here if we are going to see we are inserting not after helping verb had now to make interrogative negative form of the sentences in past perfect tense we shift had of the negative form to the beginning of the sentence so here this had is going to be shifted at the beginning of the sentence to form interrogative negative sentences in past perfect tense you can see had i not done my homework long before had you not done your homework long before had she not done his or her homework long before and likewise here also in plural number we have to form interrogative negative sentences next is future perfect tense see the given example i shall have done my homework by evening here what is verb in this sentence shall have done is verb which tells us that the action of doing will be completed finished or perfected at a certain time in the future and this form of the tense is called the future perfect tense in future perfect tense auxiliary verb shall have or will have is used with this you can understand that the given sentence is in future perfect tense and after will have or shall have we have to use third form of the verb so structure of future perfect tense is subject plus shall have or will have and third form of the verb as i have already told with i and we we have to use shall i shall we shall and with you they he or she we are using will now let's see affirmative form of future perfect tense first person singular number i shall have done home, my homework by evening you will have done your homework by evening he will have done his homework by evening she will have done her homework by evening 
we shall have done our homework by evening you will have done your homework by evening they will have done their homework by evening if you are going to see we are using the verb shall have shall have and third form of the verb and here will have and third form of the verb so observe this these sentences with i and we we are using shall have and with you he or she and they we are using will have now to make interrogative form of the sentences in future perfect tense we shift shall or will to the beginning of the sentence you can see over here we have shifted this shall or will at the beginning of the sentence so in interrogative form in future perfect tense we will write shall i have done my homework by evening will you have done your homework by evening will he have done his homework by evening or will she have done her homework by evening in plural number shall we have done our homework by evening will you have done your homework by evening will they have done their homework by evening next to make negative form of the sentences in future perfect tense we insert not after the first helping word shall or will you can see over here i shall not have done my homework by evening you will not have done your homework by evening he or she will not have done his or her homework by evening and in plural number we shall not have done our homework by evening you will not have done your homework by evening they will not have done their homework by evening so students if you are going to see in the negative form in future perfect tense we in, we are inserting not after will or shall now to make interrogative negative form of the sentences in future perfect tense we shift shall or will of the negative form to the beginning of the sentence so you can see over here this is negative form here what are we going to do in interrogative negative we are shifting this shall or will at the beginning so it would be shall i have shall i not have done my homework by evening will you not have done your homework by evening will he or she not have done his or her homework by evening in plural number shall we not have done our homework by evening will you not have done your homework by evening will they not have done their homework by evening and as i told earlier also don't forget to put question mark for in interrogative sentences so students hope you understood perfect tenses thank you